Toffee TV is the match reaction. West Ham United nil, Everton nil in the Premier League today at the London Stadium. And don't know how to feel about this one. Uh, not a great game to watch. Both teams, at, well, Everton had Jordan Pickford to thank for uh, for getting a point. Let's be perfectly honest about it. Uh, Fabianski only really had one save to make, and that was from a Lindstrom header. Um if you want to be ultra positive, you can say it's a point away from home and a clean sheet. So, and that's fair enough. That's not over egging it. That's exactly what it is. But it's hard, I think, to sit when you look at the whole picture. I think it's difficult to to not look at it as an opportunity of a win wasted. I think West Ham, and it is a tough place to go. But as they look like a team with zero confidence at all today. They look like a team that were there for the taking and the disappointing thing is Everton weren't able to do it and were we brave enough in the end going for it? I don't think we were. But we've got a point out of it. Uh, Sean Dykes chose to bring Jared Branthwaite back into the side at the expense of Michael Keane. Um, everyone else. The core was back. Dwight McNeil missing, of course, today. The core played in the number 10 role. Lindstrom on the right and Jai on the left. The Bean... A little bit of debate about whether Beto would start over Don, but it wasn't really a debate for me. Dominic Calvert-Lewin was going to get the nod and did do. Um, and Everton started the game actually quite brightly. They were on the front foot. They'd had a, we'd had a few shots in the opening sort of 10 minutes. Not really. That was troubling Fabianski. Nothing on target, but just a little bit of intent. And... West Ham looked very subdued. Like I said, it was quiet. The London Stadium seemed quiet. They didn't seem to be playing with a total belief that they could win the game. And Everton dealt with their attacking threat really well in the first half. Jared Bowen was quiet. Antonio battled away but didn't really look a threat. Somerville was lively but again Everton sort of coped with that. And it was whether or not we could pick the bits up on the counter-attack. And we had one marvellous opportunity. Drisha Garnagay, who had a really good game, breaking the play up and travelling forward a pace with it. And we had the core on, you know, in with a pass. Garner played him in perfectly. He should have hit it first time. Took a touch. It was a poor first touch because it held up, which meant that, I think it was Somerville in the end, threw himself at it. And when the core did shoot, he blocked it behind for a corner, and that was a frustration because had the had his either swear footed it first time and it come to him, or had his touch been a little bit closer to his body, he would have been able to get a shot away before Somerville could do anything. And that was a good opportunity on the counter attack that we wasted. Trying to think of anything else of note, and Jai had a good little run and shot. That was a comfortable save for Fabianski. But we we did get there was some nice build up, there was no question about that. There was some nice build up by Everton, but we just couldn't get the final ball right. We had some nice little moves and then the cross would be put in, but it wasn't a good enough cross and people like Kilman and, and Tadebo just edited it away all day. Um and then West Ham come to life right at the end of the first half. But you had a Bowen twice in a couple of minutes, almost put the hammers ahead, went through on one. Uh, after we give the ball away, Antonio held it up and played them in, and Jordan Pickford uh, made a really good save at his near post, and then he had to be alert again as uh, it was as Bowen put Antonio through, and he sort of skipped round Pickford, but he forced them wide, and, and Jordan Pickford was in the way to block the next shot. Uh, that was right on half time, but there was a little warning there for Everton that Bowen does carry a threat, and if you give him space and if you give him time, he can hurt you. West Ham come out for the second half and, and Bowen was in the action again very quickly in the second half, forcing another save from Jordan Pickford and then Everton made sure they got enough bodies in the way the second attempt. And it, we did have to be we did have to be wary of that. Um and our attack and play in the second half was wasn't as good. We'd had one Mangala done really well. And stood it up and linced and flashed ahead of a goal, which Fabianski turned over the bar. Other than that, we had a Michalenko shot that got deflected wide. There was nothing really of any note. Because every time he did get into that sort of final third, the, the pass wasn't right or 
we just couldn't get the right, you know, we, we couldn't work enough space for a shot. Dominic Calvert-Lewin done brilliantly twice and passed up the opportunity to shoot and then laid it back and there was pressure on players. So we never really sort of worked that space again. We did require Jordan Pickford to make more saves. He made one from Rodriguez that come through Rucker players past Tarkovsky and he pushed this strong left arm, pushed it away. He made another save going to his right, which was a which was a comfortable one really for him. Uh, and West Ham went for it in the end. They ended up putting Danny Ings on and trying it because Antonio was getting less and less effective as the game went on. Um, Guilherme come on for Somerville as they were going for the win. John Dykes replaced Dominic Alvalum with Beto um, as he went as he sort of went like for like now. Was this an opportunity to go with the both of them? I don't know. It's the real answer to that. He, he just sort of went like for like. Could he have left arm on and put Beto alongside him and moved it round a bit? Possibly. Possibly he could have gone 4 4 2 and took the Corey off earlier. Uh, he didn't. He put Beto on. I, we'll, we won't know, will we? Beto put himself about like he does. Um, but we didn't really create anything for him. But we did require Jordan Pickford to make an absolutely unbelievable save in injury time. And Danny Ings won it, give it to Paquetta, carried on running Paquetta, gave him it back and it sat up for Ings. He hit it, took a big deflection into the floor and up and Pickford, the speed of it, Pickford somehow threw a right arm up and tipped it over the bar. It was a tremendous save and a save that won Everton a point essentially and, and kept it, you know, his clean sheet, which he deserved today because he... He ended up having nothing to do till about 43 minutes to be, an, in my opinion, to be an Everton's man of the match by the time the game had finished at the end, you know. And I think Fabianski finishes with two saves, I think it was. Uh, and Jordan Pickford must have made five or six in the end. Um, particularly that one at the end was a, was a fantastic save from Danny Ings. I just think, again, that's a, this is what I'm struggling with. It, it's nil-nil at West Ham, you go... It's away from home, clean sheet, we'll take it, move on. And that's probably what we should do. But it does feel like another little bit of a missed opportunity. And we're coming in, of course, after this international break. We've got a, a huge must-win game now against Brentford at Goodison. And then we go into a tricky, well, not a tricky, a very, very tough run of games. And we'll look back, I think. We'll look back at Fulham and at Southampton and at West Ham. And for me, Newcastle, and we'll say... We could have got more out of those games than what we did. But listen, we've took something today. Uh, man of the match for me, Jordan Pickford, like I said. I thought there was I thought that Drisha Garner Gay had a good game. I thought and Jai had a good game. Uh, but for me, head and shoulders above them in the end was Jordan Pickford. He's the reason why Everton haven't lost that game today. Uh, brilliant second half display, but whenever he was called upon, he was very, very good. And um Everton have, have got a point and Sean Dyke should be very thankful to pick for them. Sure he is tonight. Uh, but so should his teammates because he's got them, dug them a point out there at the end with a good performance. Yeah, we'll be, I'm sure the players will be disappointed with that because it did feel like it. I'm sure West Ham will look at it and go, that was a game we could have won and the goalkeeper's being outstanding. But just obviously from an Everton perspective, um, you look at it and go, that was there for us and we've sort of let it wriggle away from us. But, Unlike last week, we held on for a point. So we go into an international break with a point. Jordan Pickford, my man of the match. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Check out Pet's match reaction as well. Thanks for watching. See you later.